planet Morgia. Ambient temperature 45.03 degrees. All right. Local we got to jam on the throttle immediately. 3401 GFT. All systems nominal. Thanks, Eva. Okay. SRM's group three. Plasma to group two. Plasma. Pulse lasers. Pulse lasers to group one. Medium lasers to group two. Uh, I did have a request from somebody. I'm sorry, I can't remember who you were. That I played through this mission trying to do it like along the scripted route, but there is absolutely no way that you can do that in this mission. This mission is just ridiculously unfair. The hover limousine does all kinds of stupid stuff. So, you have to know where the enemies are, and I know where the enemies are, and we have to ambush them before they ambush us. I'm just gonna cut your legs off. Whoops. Ooh, that is not the button I wanted to push. No, do not shut down. SRMs. Okay, good. No hell bringing today. Okay. So, there is a little bit of a trick that you could do to this mission. What we're going to do is we're not going to rendezvous with the hover limousine immediately. There it is. Target is beyond inspection radius. Because once we do, it will be activated. So, we're going to wait a little bit and we're going to go and clear out the area ahead of it instead of trying to do a regular straight escort mission which will get all of our stuff screwed up and all of our aid to camps will be dead. Civilians in that hover car, eh? So you can see on the satellite view there's uh, lots of burning stuff around and a barricade of some sort. Oh, and any power up. Oh yeah, this is actually a pretty cool part. There's actually Falcon mechs that are hiding in these buildings and they have to blow their way out. It's actually, I thought it was actually kind of a neat effect. But, um, they're not... Hmm, you seem to be confused. Okay. You do that, then. I guess he really is bad. As in, rabid. Okay. Just chop his leg off, because we can't afford to waste any time here. SRMs at you. Chop your leg off too. They call me the leg chopper. Let's not get too close though, because if it explodes, I will take damage, and I don't want to do that. Okie dokie. That's taken care of. Figure out this mad dog. Okay, cool. Where is the hover limo? Is he moving? I can't tell. It looks like he is because his movement is. his range is changing in strange and beautiful ways. Okay. Oh, that's a Marauder. That is not good. That would eat up our hover limos. Okay, Marauder. Let's see if how we can... I'm just going to come right after you. Yeah, the AI isn't particularly good at urban uh, fighting because it has a problem finding its way around pathfindings. Please do not shut down. No. Not allowed. We'll shoot you in the back, though. Oh! Look at that. That was perfect. Yeah, this I've got a big truck there. Civilians, eh? Oof. I'm running into buildings and stuff. And then we just need to go this way. I said go this way. Ugh. All right. There is the Operplex. We are almost completed with our sweep. Yeah, I'm sorry. I can't can't really do this in the 
regular way because uh, this mission is really unfair. Enemy vehicles can kiss my torso. Oh, now what? More tanks? Tank crew? I didn't order that. Fire missiles around the corner. Uh, or not. Ow! Are you shooting me through the building? That's not nice. I have lasers and crap. Oh, you're shut down, shut down though. What are you shooting at me? What is... Oh, there's another tank, eh? Well now. How about that? Tanks with wheels. Tanks without wheels. Secondary objective. Destroy all enemy mech units. Successful. That was clearly not a mech unit, Ava. You are very confused. Look, it's the Operplex. What's inside? Multiple theaters. How about that? Where's my hover limo? Please tell me you are still alive somewhere. He is cruising around somewhere. I don't know where he is. That would be the last thing that I need would be him to get stuck in his pathfinding somewhere. And <laughs> oh, also the city is in a dome. That's kind of cool. I don't think I got to show show that off. Kind of see it. There will be domes in the future. Operaplexes and domes. Everything is futuristic, man. Mechs and the hollow suites and cyber things. Cyber Operaplex hollow laser. Where? Where is that guy? That's not this thing, huh? Oh, do I need to? Uh oh. I have not rendezvoused with Hover Limousine. Well, hmm. Okay, he's still at the starting point? Well, I'll be jiggered. I've done this mission dozens and dozens of times, and that has never happened. He always decides to go at some point of his own accord. He does not wait. Can I go through this barricade? Yes. More civilians in the hover car. That is, yes, that has never ever happened. It will always go by itself at some point. Ha <laughs> ha! Well. I have displayed something that I have never seen happen before. I'm glad I recorded it. And now you are seeing history, possibly. I am a historical reached. thing. Okay. Hover limo. Um, hover limo? Yes, please go. All right. Uh, we'll wait for you you to go to your thing and I'm going to go to my dust off site. Just um nav pie, right? Um and I guess I will just sit there and wait for the hover limo to finish its uh finish its scripted path. Yeah this mission is like really ridiculously hard if you don't um if you don't know where the enemy placement is, which is kind of unfair. You know, a good level design, just in, in general, in my opinion, in any game, should involve... You shouldn't Warning. have to... Warning. Our limousine has deviated from predefined path. See? We'll wait in our mech bay here. Well, looks like something from Star Trek. Looks like the cargo bay from Star Trek. Um, just in general, I don't think I I think that designing a level you should shouldn't have to 
be forced as a player to memorize the placement of enemies. You shouldn't have to play. You should be able to beat it on the first try. You know, regard regardless of skill. I mean, you could die from being, you know, shot a whole bunch of times, but you should be killed because you don't know. Because there's, in this case, it would be like monster closets, pretty much, where these uh, mechs are showing up out of nowhere, and the hover limo has like zero hit points. It takes all kinds of splash damage. You shouldn't have to memorize the location of the enemies in a map just to get through it. So I think this is kind of a little bit of a shenanigan, so I don't fight fair. Because fighting fair is the Battle way of the established. the way of the wolf clan, um, or something. Mm, not really. Let's see. Hover limo is hover limoing around. Target is beyond inspection radio. Oh right. I didn't I didn't do an inspection of it this time. This is my second try through. Um, the first time uh, bad things happened. Um, but if you inspect the hover limo, it says contents is Josel Fetladrow. Go figure, huh? Nav Omicron is the Opiplex that's 1.10 kilometers away. So I suppose we just have to wait for the hover limo to get that amount of distance away from us. Slowly ticking up. Um, this is uh, one of the cooler uh, tracks, music tracks, uh, by the way. I, I like the, it's like all bombastic and stuff. With all the pipes and things. And the strings and stuff. I think it's pretty cool. It kind of fits this mission pretty well. Um, didn't the briefing say that it was nighttime? I, it clearly looks like it's day outside the dome, doesn't it? That's like uh, not the color of night. There are a lot of street lights that are on. Um, yeah, and then uh, I think there's uh, only one or two missions left after this, and this will be wrapping up the Clan Wolf campaign. At which point I will be starting into the Jade Falcon campaign. More mech warriors. Almost there. Primary objective. Escort Hover Limousine. Successful. Hover Limousine has entered Morton Opera Plex. Nav Pi. Reached. Proceed to Meg Hangar for shutdown. Mission successful. Damn right. Thanks, Ava. Always good to hear your um, commendations. Mission successful! Aide de camp Josel Fetledral has entered the Morton Opera Plex safely. The enemy attack was thwarted. Well done, Mech Warrior. We have retained control of the city. What is this we you speak of? I have to do everything around here. Uh, oh, I got a hit percentage bonus. Look at me, 750 points. Objectives successful. Two enemy mechs destroyed, 1,000 points. Enemy vehicles destroyed, 500. Underweight bonus, 625. Mission honor, 9375. Career honor, 1,000. Career honor, 116,946. And as always, the points mean nothing. The Keshek is content in the knowledge that the aide de camp is safe. Maybe he should have just stayed home and watched it on demand or on Netflix. Don't they have Netflix in the future? Aftermath! The wolf assault on Broken Hope caught the Jade Falcon defenders by surprise. Although they fought well, the second line Falcon garrison troops proved no match for the wolf attackers. As soon as the garrison commander realized this, he called Star Colonel Matlock for reinforcements. The Star Colonel dispatched the Falcon Velites and 4th Striker Clusters to relieve the garrison, then ordered the rest of her troops to pull back from their current positions at Carson Rift and regroup at the Bay of Broken Hope, 6 kilometers away from the Supply Depot. That's a hell of a sentence there. Realizing that her force would soon be outgunned, Angeline Matlov had chosen to make her last stand on the shore 
of the icy bay. Matlov knew the wolves might drive the Falcons from Morges, but she was determined to make them pay a very high price for any victory. Okay, all right then. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next operation. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, or subscribe. Also check out my other recent videos. And if you'd like, you can pledge to sponsor me at patreon.com forward slash L1011widebody.